Okay, in this lesson, we're going to do simulation. So I have gone ahead and loaded in some caches that I made with Maximo. This is a little bit of hack to kind of get it working on this character, but get it working. So let's check out the animation real quick. I'm going to turn off the nucleus and kind of just let it play. So this is my animation it's just him running we can do another animation uh, once we we do this one first so this is i know generally people do kind of like walk cycle but i want to do something a little bit more difficult at least we can kind of go through the journey of what problems that you'll run into in production and what it needs to be fixed so without further ado let's go for it before i start one of the things i adjusted for the cloth is i up the stretch damp a little bit more previously it's at five now it's at 10. so i have a little bit less stretchy when it or bounciness when, when it comes to simulation everything else should be the same and I have also gone off, turn off the cache playback. Once I load the cache onto my core input, as you can see here, let's, I can hide these guys and then maybe show the core input. So this is where I load my caches on. I have a geometry cache. It should be on here. Ah, there it is. As you can see, this is uh, you can we can try to QC it here as well. Basically, it's just a simple wrap, but there's a lot of issues come with it. But it's kind of okay. So as you can see, there's some intersections under the armpit. There are some intersections down on the bottom. Obviously, deformation isn't great. And this is a self IP here, but you know. These things doesn't really matter too much because we know that we are simulating these parts. So even though this part is stretching, it's going to be resolved. I mean, it's going to be ignored, basically. What you're going to worry about is the areas that we put input attract on. So for example, maybe upper, what was it, the built area. So maybe around this area, which we don't see. But the top, I think will be okay because we actually painted very few area, right? So remember we try to, I generally try to paint fewer areas so the cloth could be more free and kind of loose, you know? Because in real life, you really pin your club onto your body or stick it onto your body. Uh, they just they just sit on your body and then move as is. So I try to do the same. But yeah, so I think the good thing for some of these is also probably could be less penetration than than it could be sometimes. I think a lot of time you're going to get animation because. The cloth and the body, sometimes it could be weighted differently. What I mean by that is the skin weight are different because rigging may have some sort of rig on the sari or uh, and the body and whatever the accessory is. But then when it gets to animation, they end up not animating it. So potentially it could be intersecting a lot, even a lot more. For example, even just the the waist area you know this part at least for most of the part it's it's always sitting above the the lower cloth right so there's always going to be the i guess a clearance i suppose whereas you know when you get animation sometimes it could be just going through the body and if you want to leverage that which could be really hard so it's something to kind of be aware of, you know, what, whatever animation that you are getting, it's, it's going to matter how you set up your cloth rigs. If I know there's a lot of 
IPs and the deformation just you know it's not very ideal for the cloth sims then what I would do instead of using input mesh attract I would use end constraint instead because then the cloth really just rides on the body doesn't matter how much it expands and then where it goes it will just you know constraint on top of that so I can show you guys uh, in another video on those so we can go and hide this and then we'll unhide the sim and because the cache playback is not working anymore I think this is actually a good opportunity of showing how I normally do the shots and let's just say this is we'll do a bit of camera later on but this is we'll just pretend this is the camera and what I normally do is just make sure the end cloth nucleus node is on sometimes I'll even play just for a few frames to make sure cloth is working properly and looks like it is and so I will just go back rewind the timeline and I will just go to play blast and it looks like I already kind of try something here so maybe I'll do a generally I just do image PNG is fine for me I try the PNG because it has alpha channels JPEG you don't get those and from Windows fine make sure the skills do one and, and save somewhere so let's do a play blast uh, this might take a while so I might cut this part out and then come back once it's finished Okay, I have stopped play blast because I can see the cloth is already <laughs> broken quite a bit. So before it totally freeze my computer, let's just stop here and then start a debugging what needs to be addressed. So just gonna go frame by frame with the F check. Let's see. So it looks like to me. I noticed there's this part where the the fingers are caught into the skirt it seems like and so that would be something pretty easy to fix I think I would just paint off these areas so it doesn't have any collisions there is I don't see any place that we will need a collision for those second part is I think the the top sorry is moving out too much now it's being exposed over the his inner body which you know it might be realistic but I think we're gonna try to keep it down low right now it seems like the cloth really popped up really high looks like there's another stretching issues coming here I think our solution on the removing the collision is gonna help on both areas and then there's also another part that I'm not quite sure what's happening here I think I have to simulate it to see exactly whether or not this is inter self intersection or something else and so is here potentially I can see maybe the maybe the friction could be too high on, on the legs and then so it's Kind of pulling the pulling the cloth along now there's also intersection here on the thighs i'm not sure why again this could be just one of those things remember i said once you break the seal if something is wrong from the get-go there's going to be something wrong later on but let me just watch a couple of times let me could also make up I, I guess make the collision a little bit thicker on the on the body so and there's also another trick that we can do we can maybe just push it in the, turn on the push out value a little bit and then it will push out on the beginning frames 
if I were to look at the good things, it looks like these tassels are look working very well above the body and we also kind of get what we want for for most of the part the upper body doesn't move too much and I don't see any area that looks too stiff like so maybe we can loosen up some of these part here uh, if we wanted to but I think the first thing first is just have to tone down this how how high the the cloth riding up I think it's going to be tricky because the character's running in the origin, so it's not like he's running actual space, right? And so I think what that motion's coming, it's coming from the arm. The arm is kind of moving so fast, it's kicking up the motion and then, and then pulling back down. Mm, I, my other idea is potentially I'm also going to loosen up the paint around the arm area so then it would just a bit, be a bit loose you know it won't swing as much so let's do that I'm gonna give that close that okay so first thing first we'll just paint here vertex Actually, I can do more. Let's do just a little more, but not too much. Because they might still need to be collide, collide with something else. So let's do paint. Collision strength. And then I'm just gonna paint a zero. Let to zero. For these type of things, so another thing to be careful of is now that this has no collision, now this part is going to be open, meaning like if you imagine a cylinder without the ends. So this this part of part of the gun could be really sharp and then catching anything that comes through it. So it's not going to just be like, you know, a cloth that's just going to glide over. It's, it's most likely will catch something. So you just want to be careful that when you do stuff like that, make sure there's, the cloth will not come close. But we'll give it a try. And then I will paint the input attract on this one. And we'll paint out here. So yeah, maybe just up to the shoulder part. What do we say was kind of too much? So maybe we could do that. I'll cut in a little bit here on these areas. All right. Maybe we'll also paint out here. Could be also problematic all right seems to be okay for now then want to change the collision uh, friction maybe so what is it just do by the tenth so 0 0.01 Oh, okay, so maybe we're just seeing the back polygon. Hopefully there's no self-intersection. I think maybe I'll just do, change this to two. Have a little bit more thickness when it comes to self-collide. And yeah, I'll save my scene. And then I will just make sure I reset my cloth. Then I will do another play blast. Time I will do three eight. All 
All right, so I have gone home. Stop the simulation. Looks like we're getting some different problems. It looks like exactly what I said, where the arm clipped off on on his left arm. It actually caught some of the some of the mesh there. So we're just gonna paint back a little bit more on that left arm. A steel intersection on the left eye, so have to look into that. I don't know if I I feel like part of the upper sari rise up a lot less, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it's still rising up, so I think I'm going to try maybe add a little bit more damping just to maybe in, have it have a move less with it with the velocity and let's see what else i can adjust i think intersection it's always the first thing i kind of try to go with because you know you're trying to fix that it usually takes a while even though it's easy ones like let's say you know you want to move out the sorry away from the away from the die that's totally fine but if animation changes and you reset, then you have to redo the shot modeling again. So generally, I try to address all the penetrations through the sim. That way, when animation updates, you can just reset and everything is good. So getting a right setting is kind of important in the beginning. Yeah, it kind of this kind of shows me still the sim still bouncing up a lot because I can see top of this end of the sari it's it's just probably you don't want to go that far i think it, maybe if it, anything we just want to go up where the waist area or lower back area right now it's going above the shoulder which is tells me it's probably going too far we'll, we'll, we'll try a few things Let's see, so first thing first is fixing the collider. Then I need to somehow make this sorry a little bit heavier. This couple way of doing it, I, I, I wanna I wanna go for plan A. Plan A is we're trying to find some sort of settings, have the cloth settle down faster i could increase the mass or alternatively is i can paint like a strip down of the input of track a little bit more so it kind of anchors down a little bit more but i want to do that later because that that trick is going to make it look kind of weird actually i want to do the bottom one for well let me let me try it out with the with the collision object first. Seems like we're getting a bit of an issue. So the push out value seems okay. And then maybe I just need to do more. So 0.15. Whoa. It's already penetrating, so it's I don't want to add too much more. Maybe I should just do point four here, point oh four. Mm. I could probably go up to three and Friction will drop by half. Hmm. I don't really have a problem with the bottom, sorry. But the top one is definitely getting kicked up a lot. I want to try to do some damping, I think. I will just do point 0.1 for now. The damping is really going to... Um, if 
if it's too much, it's going to look underwater-ish, so we have to be careful with that value. You know, the other things I can also do is kind of cut down the stretch resistance. So as the arm comes up, it will stretch and therefore the, the energy kind of dissipates. So I can also try to do that, uh, although it, it may look make the cloth look a um, little rubbery so that i also have to be careful mm. but we could try well kind of want to try the damping first and let me just double check with the mass mass is at one which i don't really want to change i wonder if i should change my space skill to be even lower uh, well, point one, it's pretty good already. Don't want to go lower than. Hmm. Let's just leave it. I will play with the damping. Potentially, I'll do stretch them on the fifteen. Well, let's. Let's just try it with damping first. And then see how it goes. So the sim got actually faster, so we're doing something right. Just gonna overwrite the previous one. Well it looks like the sim time is started increasing, so I just wanna stop it before. Yeah. As you notice, um, I think the damping really made it <laughs> look quite a different, uh, really feel underwater now. So I think I'm going to revert back that setting. And I also notice the feet here is catching on the cloth. So I have some idea for that, which I'll show you. But really need to fix this problem and Feel like it's a bit tricky i might i might have to try my last resort trick okay so let's go on and uh give a shot let's see let's go back to the first frame gonna do uh this so yeah generally i think they're probably just catching the toes the toes are quite sharp when you kind of look at it so what i'm going to do is uh, i guess just to put a sock or like a mitten for the feet and you could just do something like a sphere something like that and then we'll just kind of place it here This has to be super accurate. I mean, you can try to model it if you want to, but I'm just going to do it this way as long as it's covering all the toes. Uh, I think it should be all right. And then what I would do is I'll probably just use this point. I wonder if it's a point or poly. Maybe I'll do a face. I can select a face. Go to, I believe it's, well, I just, my deformation on the surface attach. There you go. So that would generate what's it called, like, um, like a rivet there. So then I'll just select that and select the sphere and I will just do parent constraint. Maintain offset is good. I will then, uh, I can hide this guy. Then I will make this collider. Just make sure I'm the right nucleus. And then, boom. Because of this is kind of like shot base, I just leave these outside instead of putting back them into 
the hierarchy this what what's inside the hierarchy I tend to just leave it for the asset instead of putting there oh and I can also hide it so it doesn't look weird then we're going to revert back of the damping so hmm. I think the stretch damp supposed to help me. I could do up to 15 on both these. But I'm also going to try something as well. Well, before, before I try something, let's just fix this thing because I really feel this has causing a lot of issues for me in terms of uh, the cloth sim. Just want to make sure the calculation is it's okay so you want to paint these 100 percent because if not i feel like i'm going to see penetration here so I guess the bill is also kind of too low of a res. Mm. And also pretty thick as well. Let's see. Let's do a one. Okay, that's somewhat a normal scale. I'll turn off the nucleus real quick. I'm just gonna check it out how animation looks. Hmm. So I know the biggest thing is how how big the arm swings. I don't know if I don't know. Do do we swing this far when it comes to <laughs> running? That our arm kind of gets really really far up. Um, but that's definitely one of the issues. And the other things that I'm looking at is whether or not the character goes up and down a lot it doesn't seem like it but so yeah i think um i'm gonna go with one of our strategies which is make it a little bit stretchy maybe i'll do 40 here and yeah and kind of give that a try oh okay let's see Turn on the nucleus. Yep. Good. Reset it. And then play blast. Well, it looks like we're really finding ourselves a turf simulation. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get it. Yeah, so some other problems come back. I guess th the first thing I notice is where I painted off the the collision so as i said this would happen before looks like the mitten didn't really help on that uh that's kind of unfortunate need to figure out how I would address that i think the turning down the stretch resistant has helped a little bit it's just that arm okay so feel like I want to go on to some exper experimental stuff mm. what we could do is what I do sometimes is just kind of create a, a separate cloth and then and I just make a cloth object then I start to play with these uh, presets so obviously sorry is like a light object sometimes it could be a silk or uh, maybe light cotton but what i want to look like maybe is something like a thick letter uh, so then 
I could try that and then see what it gives me. For well, most of the part, it's kind of understandable. The mass is a lot heavier. There is a lot of damping going on here. We could try this. See what else has changed. And gentle drag could be good too. I'll do 0.5 here. All right, what do we do with this guy though? I think I'm just gonna turn off the friction altogether. Whoa, the thickness is super big. All right. I'm gonna turn on the stretch resistance just a little bit more. Let's see, maybe we'll go with 80. Yes, I think that's all I want to change for now. Okay, another try. Okay, it seems like it might be working, but we're getting some issues on the arm again, so I think I have to paint a little bit more back. And I'm also having some issues with the feet still. Mm. Okay. So let's try to address that. And then I'm gonna try to address the, the waist area as well. So, do it. Okay. Okay, so then just ready the wrist and the finger. Be okay, maybe I'll ping these guys around as well. To be safe. Uh, oh wow, this is actually a really low risk. I wonder if I should just make a higher risk. Um, oh yes, I see it see what's happening here I think my constraint isn't uh, very accurate so why well it's it's correct I guess it's like probably feel too sharp maybe I need to do like more fat around like this maybe redo the constraint again we'll also get rid of the constraint and then we'll make one lower part of the toes maybe like somewhere here What I want to do with these two guys, though, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. There's a thing in end cloth is called, well, in the end constraint it's called exclude collision collide pairs. So I think I'm going to do that. So these two doesn't collide with each other, and I'm gonna paint back this um, collision strength. So what it does is that basically saying these two will not collide, but it will still continue to collide with everybody else. This could be really handy when you have a lot of layers of objects.
trying to think if there's anything else we want to adjust before we move on. I do want to kind of abreast, so maybe I'll do like a subdivide. This is going to take up the same time, but I, I think it's going to be worth it. I guess it kind of depends how much it adds. Maybe that's okay. Oh, I think my paintway is going to be all messed up though. Let's see, let's just double check. Yeah. So, I'm going to need to repaint those guys. I think I'm going to try just the, the fingers and the wrist this time. I know I'm needing the legs, but I will fix it in a moment. Right? All right. Okay, maybe I should save my scene. Going through lots of changes. We'll get there eventually. I'm gonna cut down the damping a little bit because it will just kinda too much damp going on there gotta turn my nucleus back on <laughs> You'll feel like more or less the same. We we'll fix the waste area. Uh, the cloth is still right up. I can see it's trying to keep it down low, but it don't feel like it's it wants to stay down. Uh, and then we're also getting this stretching issue again. Then also the bottom one. I'm not sure why the feet is still catching on. It seems like it's like worse every time. So, I think I want to address this one first. The feet is definitely bugging me. So, let me try to see what I can find here. Alright guys, so I took the scene offline for a little bit. And I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do. This actually it become trickier and trickier so instead of making you sit through i decided to kind of try to figure it out offline and then they explain to you what i did to fix everything so what you saw previously it was the cloth that's kicking up too high and then i actually noticed there was some explosion going on and we have some issues with the ankle catching the cloth right so I end up changing the space scale even lower. I know we talked about before that you know you kind of want to set it and forget it, but I wasn't noticing myself changing so many attributes. So I thought maybe um, before I change a lot, that I will I will just set this even lower and kind of see if that's going to give me a better look. Because ultimately, maybe I just need to be have the cloth to be heavier. So yeah, and I, I kind of did, and this is kind of what I got. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Obviously, how much it's covering the lower part of uh, his body. There is issue where the cloth has started exploding again. If you notice, like this part, when I zoom in, the mesh were really spiky and stuff like that. So. It was a sign of that it's going to explode and obviously my sim time was going through the roof and that's kind of why i took offline because i was not able to see my result quickly so 
So I end up also changing the sub step a little bit higher. Previously it was uh, three and four. Generally that's the value that you're gonna get. I w someone actually shared with me that it's actually good to kind of go by the ra this ratio. So basically I will go something like 30, 40, and or you can half that, 15, 20, right? Or you can do half again, seven and 10. It's kind of the, the number that I, I generally go for. So 15, 20, I think is the one I end up using. And it, it turned out to be pretty good and it's not super long on simulation. Uh, 10, like the first 30 frames seem to be super fast. It just wants to get to the back. I think there's some calculation issues. So yeah, let me see what I end up getting with the adjustment. Ah, so so with the explosion, I changed the input track a little bit more on the lower part of the skirt. So let me just show you. I'll hide the top one, and let's just check this one out. Remember previously it was kind of, you know, white across the board. So I just end up painting away a little bit more uh, around this area and even some of these loose tassels that, I don't know, I just feel like they were causing issues. So I kind of just want them to dangle down and be more loose. So, you know, it's not catching anything. Uh, it turned out to be okay. And I guess maybe the main part is just, you know, when the leg's kicking up, or frames like maybe like this you know that gives very little room between the belt and and the leg so even if let's say if i hide this generally that just very little clearance it what you can also do too when you're doing the shot you can actually kind of carve out this part you know you can relax it whatever just create a hole where the cloth is going to be you can do that but in this case i think what i did was good enough and so yeah but yeah the the input try actually kind of helped and then so the explosion gone away and then actually the sim changes a lot of look which i can show you right now so this one's adjusted we'll just play for this Right, so so the cloth is a lot more stable. You realize it doesn't kick up so high anymore. I mean, this part is still kind of kick high, which is kind of okay. Decided to try to add a little bit more mass, just so maybe the the upper sorry will will kind of hang down lower. Let's see. This is kind of the result I'm what I was getting. Which is actually pretty good. Uh, for some reason, I guess it looks like I also turn up some of the trap chip and the collisions because let's see if it shows here. Let's go back to the older one real quick. Yeah, you see the the bottom. Sorry, realize that. It seems like once they caught up, like they get tangled up and then, you know, they don't resolve it afterwards. You see, it just stick in that shape. It's as if this is something sticky around this area. But I think it's just because the animation is so fast. And once the polygon go through each other, intersecting each other, they kind of just don't resolve. So what I would do is I would turn on the, the self-trap check. Which you see here by default it's off which you kind of want to because this thing usually causes a lot of issues or explosions if you just by default turn it on so trap check is one mesh against another for example is the cloth against the collider self trap check is it's kind of like self collision and then just make sure anything intersecting it will push it back out and the push out radius uh, i also lower it a little bit more i think it doesn't really apply in this case but by default it was 0.86 or something like that and then I just lower it to 
Let's see what else I change. I think maybe that's pretty much it. Let's just take a look. So I changed on both of them actually. I did a trap check on the lower one and top one. I think that brings a new problem where you see the <laughs> the top sorry just kind of got loose on the top end there. And previously, I guess you know it it was already intersecting, so then that's where it was sticky already, so it didn't fall off. But now because we tilted that. that evaluate the self intersection now it's pushing back out and then so it's falling back out so basically i just went back and then repainted the input track a little bit more which i can show you here uh, input attract so yeah just this, these guys up top here. I, I kind of keep the these guys loose still in case that I want to see a little bit more motions. So otherwise, these guys are pretty locked down. They are not going to move and then dangling like what you were seeing. So I end up did another play blast after that. So I think this is the one. Yeah, so now it got a bit of intact around the neck area then I think this one is the one that I talked about with the self trap check and as you can see the bottom skirt doesn't get caught up anymore or it, if it does it, it resolved uh, since then a few other things I kind of changed uh, let's just kind of go through real quick before I forget them I added the mass to five and I also changed the collider paint on the on the rest because remember previously I was saying I'm gonna paint off the the hands and the wrist and so it doesn't collide with the bottom sorry. Well that was causing a problem on the top whenever the hand is kicked I bring it up something like that and then they will they will just get caught up here and then it pull the polygon like a stretching polygon so then I end up paint 100% and then I use this trick basically I select the the, the points and then I select the mesh and I just did let's see exclude collision pair collide pair what that does is a tilling and cloth that these points and this mesh will not collide but then with everything else will act accordingly. So I can show you what this membership looks like if I do select member. So there you go. So these were just that and then, but the relationship between these two objects would be just as usual. And this one, I think we showed before is between the, the belt and the sari. So, these two are not colliding at all. What you see is just the input and track locking it down. And then, you know, they're not moving. So it looks like they are colliding, but they're not. I believe that's it. Um, the angle issue was solved, so it was good. So I think like this is kind of a good place to stop the simulation. There was quite a few of issues that we're running into just the look the you know the speed of the animation sometimes it's tricky uh, another thing i guess i also did is i constrain the nucleus on top of the head because it was bouncing up and down and kind of want to neutralize the motion a bit so what you can do is you can create a rivet on top of the head and what i did if i didn't show you before i'll show you again is I just select a polygon and you go to animation and you go to deform uh, then you go to muscles bonus rigging and surface attach that will create a locator for you and I will show you I think it I have one here so yeah yeah if I hide this guy you'll see a locator on top of that and then I just did not a parent constraint, but I I did the um, 
the position constraint, point constraint. So the translation was neutralized, but the rotation is still there. I did that kind of neutralize the motion a little bit. I, I can show you guys another shot that another action shot that you know sometimes when character go from one frame to another uh, with a like super travel distance for example maybe like flash you know one frame piece here one next frame is there uh, this trick is actually pretty good to solve that issue in this case it's probably not showing it as much but uh, it's there I will just hide this guide again and then on high the hat so let me just show you the final product what I end up getting uh, this is kind of what you will end up showing let's say your supervisor or someone you want to approve it to your client you know you want to you want to show this double mesh side and then because we have everything set up properly this is such a like non-issue for us right like what you see in the same mesh this will be the same and maya wrap generally is pretty good i know it's kind of heavy sometimes and sometimes there could be crashing issues but in this case it was really good for us what i would do even though i think this series will stop here it will be good enough to kind of show you how i start a shot and set up a character and then uh, simulating a character but the next video I can show you guys how to do some wrinkles or maybe some notes that generally gets you know maybe the the supervisor one the cloth look a certain ways in certain frames so I can show you how I do shot modding there but as far as simulation and setup goes I think uh, this is a good place to stop so I hope that you guys learned something it was educational for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment below. If you want me to check out some scenes, uh, I'll be glad to uh, if I have the time. And I'm also going to try to go on some forums and then help out answer some questions for you guys. Uh, now that I have some free time before my next gig starts. Yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it and then I will try to pump out more videos for you guys. All right. So take care and then see you in the next videos. Bye bye.